Hello everyone, this is a quick demo on how to import videos from Vimeo into WordPress using the VideoBloxer Pro plugin. Now using this plugin, you can import videos by key phrase or channel, group, user, uh, just about anything. But for this demo, I chose the channel Staff Picks on Vimeo. All I have to do is go to the page, and I copy the ID of the page, which is Staff Picks, and I go to my WordPress dashboard, go down to Video Blogster menu, going to make a new video feed. And what I'm going to do is select the Vimeo service. Each service has its own API. And it's set up in kind of a Mad Libs format, so it should be fairly easy to fill out. Now what I'm going to tell it to do for this feed is to import 12 videos by channel, staff picks. And it's going to sort the results by date, uh, the newest ones first. So what this query does, goes to the Staff Picks channel page and it grabs the 12 most recent videos, imports them into WordPress, uh, one post per video. And it's also going to, it's also going to import the video image into the featured image for each post. Now, after Vimeo returns the results, we have this tab here so we can do some advanced processing. Uh, we can check videos for certain criteria, so we can skip videos if it has less than a certain number of views, or if it's older than a certain date, etc. Uh, we can translate it. If it's in another language, we can translate it to English or French or whatever we want to work with. And we could do things with the title and description to change it. We could spin the, the content so it's more unique. Uh, anything you want, really. And we tell Videoblogster how to create the post. For instance, the the title of the post is going to be the same as the title of the video in this case. And we're also going to set the post body to be the video embed followed by the video description. And there's about uh, 12 or 15 other template tags we could use in this template if we wanted to also include the number of views or the video duration or who posted it, that sort of thing. We also have a section down here. If you have a premium theme that uses custom meta fields to display the video, we can have video blogs to fill those out automatically. You just fill them in. And the same thing for any plugins that use custom meta fields like uh, Yoast uh, SEO. You could set the SEO description here as well. And after it's done processing the results, it's ready to create the posts. And in this case, uh, you can set the user. John, set the post type standard post, but you can also do, uh, if you have custom post types, you could set that. And what kind of status you want to set it to. In this case, I'm going to publish it. As soon as it's imported, publish it. But instead, usually WordPress will use the current date and time when it publishes a post, but instead I'm going to tell it to use the video's publish date. So the post will actually show the date the video was published on Vimeo instead. That's kind of interesting. And I can also tell it what category I want to import the videos to, or I can just tell it to use whatever category it is on Vimeo, which is what I'll do. Now I can import the videos right now manually, or I could save the feed and let the video blogster scheduler run in the background, continuously checking that feed so that when any new videos are added to that uh, staff picks page, they're automatically imported to you to WordPress uh, you don't have to do anything so it works in the background continually now, everything looks good I've already imported 12 videos so I'm going to show you the results just go to this uh, site with our 12 videos this is the Bimber theme and all the posts are created as WordPress posts there's nothing custom here you can use any theme that you want any format you want uh, any display that you want these are just uh, standard WordPress posts so it's up to the theme on how it displays WordPress posts. Pretty simple. But I'm going to show you how this looks on different themes. This is called the Bimber theme. This is how a regular WordPress post looks like. Let's choose another. OK. Herald, that's another good one. So once it switches, any second now, I'll reload this page. This is now the Herald theme, same post, same content. I didn't need to do anything differently. I'm not locked into the theme whatsoever. So Video Bloxer is pretty good that way. Any theme you have or want to use, Video Bloxer can integrate with it. You don't really need to do anything. This is a theme called Incanus. 
That's okay. And I'm just going to show you one more. How about a premium theme named True Mag? Same content. Fills in all the data automatically. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a note. And I hope you enjoyed watching this very short video. Thanks.